Yes, thank you and, and good morning. Uh, thanks especially for being here. I know that uh, it may have been more difficult to get up this morning after that great party that uh, Lacknick threw for us. But uh, now that we are here, I, I want to pause for a moment um, and, and take a look at this gorgeous scene on, on the slides here. And, and while you're looking at it, I want you to think back 25, 30 years ago, just one single generation. How many of us in 1984 could have predicted that we'd be able to take a high quality picture in a foreign country and send it instantly to all of our friends around the world? Well, that's just what I did on Monday morning when I, when I took this picture. After swimming in that gorgeous water, I, I have to admit. And, and that's just one small example of why my team and the Internet Society as a whole are working to ensure that these amazing revolutions continue to happen. And so let's, let's talk about Deploy360, which is the flagship project of the team I work on in the Internet Society. The challenge that we're addressing is um, ITF protocols uh, are obviously based are open standards and are, are free and, and, and accessible to everyone, but that doesn't mean that everyone knows about them and it doesn't mean that everyone knows how to deploy them. And a lot of times they're actually written, RFCs from the IETF are written more for um, the implementation of the protocol in software or in a device rather than on a network. Uh, and so there may be a gap there between how do I make OSPF or BGP work versus how do I operate OSPF or BGP. And so people seeking to implement these protocols often are confused, uh, especially when they're, when they're new protocols. Um, things like IPv6 and DNSSEC, um, different pieces of, of routing resiliency and security are things that are the best for everyone if everyone deploys them, um, but also are not necessarily um, on the top of everyone's list to deploy because you can't charge more for these things, right? They, they make the internet better, they allow the internet to continue to grow, but uh, you may not bring in extra revenue by deploying it, at least not day one. So our solution is to work with the first adopters, the, the pioneers that blaze the trail and do go out and deploy these new technologies and share their information and their lessons learned, their experiences with the fast followers, with, with everyone else, hopefully everyone in this room, um, to go out and deploy these technologies. So first, when I say we, uh, in this case, I'm talking specifically about the deployment and operationalization team at the Internet Society. Uh, myself, Dan York, Megan Cruz, and Jan Zors there from, uh, from left to right. We're the ones behind uh, the Deploy360 project as well as some other activities. The Deploy360 project itself it has four components. There's a web portal, which is kind of the, the heart of, of the project. Um, we uh, do speaking engagements. We have a conference series called ION, uh, which is the technical conference series for the Internet Society. And, and we also participate in, in many forms of social media. So taking a look at the web portal, um, again, this is where all of the content that we collect is, is really curated and published. So it, some, some content is created specifically for us. A lot of content we just link to, things that other people have already um, uh, built or, or, or written. And we've broken that content down specific to not only the topic areas that we cover, but also to the audiences. So if you're coming in and you're a network operator or a content provider or a registrar, you may want to see different information on these technologies. And so we have paths that you can come into the website and, and get the information that you need practical information that's, that's hopefully relevant exactly to the, to the things you're doing. We also have blog posts to try and keep up with all the news and events that are going on, and of course the social media integration I talked about. Um, I'm actually really excited today um, to be presenting about Deploy360 in the Interconnection Forum because we just this week launched a new audience, so one of those kind of targets there for internet exchange points. You can see here uh, on the slide a screenshot of that page right now. Um, so it brings you in and, and provides specific inf information, <clears throat> excuse me, specific information on IPv6 uh, and securing BGP for Internet Exchange Points. Um, and then also links back to a great project that the Internet Society is doing, the IXP Toolkit, which has much more broad information on IXPs and how to set them up and how to level them up. Um, and I encourage you to check that out as well as, as the Deploy360 resources. We've, uh, the Deploy360 team has social media accounts on, on all of the major social media platforms. And really the reason there is because we don't want to just broadcast this information out. We want to, we need a feedback loop. We want to hear from you. We want to talk to the community and understand how we can do our job better, how we can, what, what tools we can provide to you to make deploying these technologies easier. And we really want to hear that information back when we're doing the right things, when we're doing the wrong things. Uh, and that's really what we're there on social media for. 
Uh, another way to, to kind of get that two-way communication is with the ION conference series. We do three events a year, and they're co-located with another event. And the reason we do that is so we can get uh, in front of different audiences. And then the ION conferences themselves, the format's a little bit different than, than a typical conference. What we really try to do is provide hands-on information um, from the folks who have deployed things to the folks that need to deploy them and really have that conversation started right there in the room and, and pass that practical information along. In addition to the ION conferences, we also do speaking engagements ourselves. And the reason behind the speaking engagements that we do ourselves is really twofold. One, obviously, is to be able to go and explain or share our information, the knowledge we've picked up along the way, either in our past lives as actual engineers or in our current uh, roles as facilitators of this communication and things we've picked up and learned as we go around and host these conferences and, and speak to people. But also, again, it's a really good way for us to get sorry, um, information back from the community and have the hallway conversations, talk about IPv6, talk about DNSSEC, talk about these things with you in person, and again, get information back on how we can help, uh, how we can better help, how we can better serve you. So as far as next steps for the Deploy 360 program, we're right now working very hard to add more content. Um, again, IPv6, DNSSEC, TLS for applications, and securing BGP are our four primary topics right now. And uh, so we want to continue to build out that content. We're really pushing really hard right now to, to build out that content. And then, of course, also add features based on your feedback. We are also working on translating many of our documents into other languages. Um, and, uh, and of course, always ever increasing blogging and, and social media. We've, we've stepped up the blogging quite a bit this year already. In fact, in the first quarter of this year, we put out a blog post every day. And I think you'll find, if you look through the blog, that, that almost all of them are relevant to, uh, to something you'd, you'd want to learn about or know about. And that comes to um, the last bit here, which is, which is your participation. The first thing you can do is visit and explore the site. So take a look at it. Um, hopefully, there's things there that'll help you. Let us know the things that are, that are working and the things that aren't. And, uh, and you, can, you can define those new features and drive that back. But also, we want you to create content. So if you've deployed IPv6 or DNSSEC, um, written applications with TLS, or done a good job of securing your BGP, we'd like to hear those stories. We'd like to hear things you've learned along the way, tips and tricks you've picked up, and, uh, and be able to republish that out to, to other folks who may need that information. You can contact us there at uh, deploy360 at uh, isoc.org. With that, I'll be happy to take any questions. Eh, preguntas para Chris, por favor. Eh, bueno, yo al, más que una pregunta, un comentario, simplemente eh, agradecer y, y la participación de ISO y reconocer el trabajo que hace para ayudar a la implementación de, de nuevos puntos de intercambio de tráfico y también a los a los que ya existen. No, es un trabajo. Eh, muy bueno, eh, un apoyo eh, muy valioso el que da, el que se tiene pa, de parte de ISO. Eh, muchísimas gracias, Chris, y, y a través tuyo, pues, eh, a ISO por, por todo ese trabajo. ¿Alguna pregunta? Creo que no. Eh, muchas gracias, Chris. Muchas Thank gracias. You very much.